friends, it's time for another lesson in Logo. Make sure you open your FMS logo and then do File Load. Scroll through the Library Documents area and find your last one. It should have said Day 4 since we've done four lessons. When you launch it, remember nothing shows up on the screen. And we click the nifty little Ed All to make all of our code appear. I'm not going to share all my code with you because I don't need to, but what I am going to do now is show you the cool house. And we should all be creeping up on this level. Right here, uh, when you have built a house in a simple garage, you are at least a 70%. We are working on getting us all to the A level. Let me tell you how that happens. So this plus the big building plus the roof plus the sun equals 70. Every little piece you add after that is two more part points. So this would make it 72, 74, 76, 78 because I coded in the doors. As you work, just remember that every little piece you add is worth two points. So have fun and make sure you understand you're raising your grade at the same time. Today's first exciting command is how to paint. Right now, I'd like you to paint your windows, and the first thing we need to do to paint our windows is to find the colors. Find your Empty Tools folder, and in Empty Tools, go to the Mod Tech folder, and then the Logo folder. At the bottom of the Logo folder is the Logo Colors picture. You can bring that over to the side of your screen so you can see the colors, and you can have your work on the other side. Notice there's a number by each one of these. To color a window, we simply edit the windows. So I'm going to do File Edit. I'm going to go to the Window command, and I'm going to tell it OK. I'm going to click after the word Win, and I'm going to change the paint color before it draws, and I'm going to paint it red. So we type Set PC, and we put a 4 there, because that's the color for red. I'm going to click after the last window, though, and I'm going to set the pen color back to black. Remember that everything that we paint, and you can paint all of these little pieces, you start the color and you always go back to black. When we do File, Save, and Exit, we click on our House command. And when we press Enter, I now have red windows. You can use that same technique to paint every piece of your house. We can also paint our whole screen, but we're going to do that in a two-step process. We are going to make a large box that fills up our whole screen. You may have not figured this out yet, but we can go left 500 and right 500 before the uh, screen wraps around. So let's make a new word called sky. Click File Edit, type sky, and I want you to make the sky uh, start on the left by doing your XY command and doing nev negative 500 and 0. Press enter and I want you to use your rec command to make a 400 high by 1000 wide rectangle. Let's test it real quickly by doing file save and exit. If we type sky, let's see if I had my numbers correct. Bam! We've now got a sky area Let's make it cooler by making it blue. Let's do file edit. Let's go in the word sky. And in the word sky, once it's done painting, we need to move inside it. So we're going to go X, Y, negative 490. So we're going way off to the side so we don't accidentally put something there later. And we're going to go 10 up in the air. And from that spot, we're going to type a new command called setfc, which is flood color. And I want to set my flood color to cyan. Put the number 3, put a space, and type the word fill. I do not have to set the flood color back because it only works when we type fill. And before we paint any other pieces, we will change the flood color. File, save, and exit. CS house. And now if I type sky, it moves over, draws it, and paints all of the areas. The one thing I forgot that I need to fix is when I hit file edit 
and edit sky, we've got to have the pen up home, pen down at the end of it. Now the turtle, see how it was sitting out here, comes back to where it's supposed to be. See as house, sky, that's beautiful. And then let's add the word sky to house so it happens automatically. I'm going to just hit at all, click after the word sun, and I'm going to add sky. Click File, Save, and Exit. Let's double click on CS House. It all happens automatically, so we're doing really, really well. Let's paint our door really quickly. And to do this, we actually do it in House. So click File, Edit, and Find House. And when House loads, go to the end. So we always fill in our items after they're finished drawing. And we do it by simply doing a little bit of math. If you remember right, we drew our door 20 over. So to get inside the door, remember we have to be inside each shape, we need to go 25 over, and then we need to probably go 5 or 10 up. So all we do is type XY, 25 space 5, and then we set our flood color. So I'm doing set FC. I want my door to be dark blue, so I'm going to use the 1, and I type fill. And then... I want to go back to home, but I'm going to do it a slick way. Below our normal commands, type PH, so it'll be the new pen home command. Type pen up home, pen down, and put end. And then up here, after you fill it, you can just type PH for it to go home. And then we're going to paint a lot of pieces, so we need to keep track of what we paint. So do a semicolon, notice it has a little green dot, and type paint door. So later when you paint your windows, when you paint your house, when you paint your roof, when you paint your sun, you'll always add the little code after it that is green and tells you what you painted. And if it isn't green, that means you didn't use the semicolon, so make sure you check that. You may continue to paint all the other pieces of your house, and then continue with the training lesson. I've got a new awesome word for you. I need you to build. It's called WOW. Do file edit and type WOW until it OK. When it appears on your screen, we need to put some awesome variables up on the top. When we do this, make sure you put a space after the WOW. Do the colon and then the first one is RT1. That is going to be a right. And then you put a space after it just so you really can see it. I'm going to put two spaces. It doesn't make a difference. I just got to have them. We're going to have a variable repeat, space, space, colon, and we need a variable L, which will be the length, space, space, and we need a colon RT2. So we're going to have a second right turn. Make sure you've got all four of those and they've got the spaces between them. We're going to put a CS at the beginning of our command and then we're going to type repeat. Add 100 for how many times it repeats. And then put in your square bracket. Inside the square bracket, we're going to type RT, and we're going to put a space after it, and we're going to do right turn 1. This will be where the variable first comes in. If yours doesn't turn blue, that means you did not make the variable, uh, the colon, in front of it. After RP, RT1, you're going to do repeat again. R-E-P-E-A-T, space, I'm going to do my colon. We're going to say how many times we want to repeat. That's going to be what shape we make. And then you're going to do the brackets. Notice you do not have to have a space between those. If you want to, you may. Forward, colon, L. Notice there's a space between those two. And then space. And then RT for right turn. And we're going to do the variable uh, right turn 2. So it's colon RT2. Remember we had one, two open brackets. So you need to end with two closed brackets. When you're done with that, you can go to File, Save, and Exit. The first time we use WOW, simply type WOW space 15 space 4 space 50 space 90. And then when you press Enter, bam, you've got that same cool project we made back in the beginning of our lesson. All right, the beauty of WOW is these variables you can instantly create an inc 
incredibly different shape by just changing one of these turns. Let me remind you that this is a turn and this is a turn. This is RT1 when we made the variable, so write 1, and this is RT2. The largest these numbers should ever be is, is 359 because that's how many degrees in, are in a circle. This is how many sides are in your shape and this is how long each side is. So I'm going to just change to 35 degrees and check it out how cool that is. I'm going to change this instead of a four-sided shape to a six-sided shape. Let's see what it turns into. Interesting. I'm going to take the length of the sides. I'm going to make them 150. This is the exact same shape. It just is small versus big. And that's it's kind of nice when you spread them out, it's easier to see. I'm going to take this degrees, and instead of 90, I'm going to make it 80. Whoa! This is what I want you to do. Fiddle with these. Try and make a couple awesome ones. Uh, have some fun with it, and call me over when you think you've made something incredible. Have fun with WOW! All right, this is where the logo lessons get kind of cool. I'm going to ask you to start making your own incredible decisions. Right now, you've done everything that I've given you, but I want you to make some incredible ones. This was a pretty neat one that was made by a student a while ago. Notice they have their garage, and they made a cool street using the art command to actually curve their sidewalks. This is another insane one where they made the awesome little human. They made a street with a line running down the middle, a basketball hoop, the birds. Um, this was a swing with balloons hanging off it. They had an alien spaceship with the aliens beaming people up. Uh, you can start to see here how incredible you can make it if your mind is willing to go there. This one I liked because they had the idea of making the sun's rays. Uh, they ran out of time, but it still was looking pretty awesome. This is another incredible one where they used the fill command. They made awesome clouds with raindrops. They've got a grass on the bottom. They colored the different lines, which I'm going to teach you to do in the next few movies. And uh, just did a spectacular job making an awesome house. Here's an incredible one that had a 3D uh, aspect to it. It's got the cool birds, a mailbox, an awesome basketball hoop, the incredible arched doorway with doorknobs, the little cross sections in the windows. Extremely cool one created um, back in the day. All right, now finish with this last one because you've seen lots of cool ideas. They've done the colors, the lines. They were making a car. They've got the awesome little gun turrets. But this is what I was trying to tell you. Uh, there are incredible places you, that you can go. So hopefully this gave you some ideas. The next movies will teach you a little bit about how to use the colors. Good job, and I hope your project is starting to feel as awesome as these have turned out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you've built something awesome in your Lesson 5 training, and now you can move on to Lesson 6, where you learn how to do the colors and the pen sizes. Good job, and let's keep making incredible things. Let's add a new command to our repertoire. This is called ARC, with the number 2 after it, A-R-C, and then 2. When you type this, you type degrees, like I'm going to do a half circle, 180 degrees, and you type a radius, I'm going to say 15. So it just made half a circle that is 15 plus 15, 30 in diameter. Uh, you could use this to make something cool like a bird. Watch this. I'm going to do my first arc too, and then I'm going to go left, and I want it to turn back almost 180 degrees. So I'm going to type 160 or whatever you choose. And then if I do that same arc two again, and I'm going to click and reuse it, look at that. I've made a little itty bitty birdie. So you can make a new word called bird that had commands like that in it. Um, you could also make a hill by doing arc uh, 2 and telling it 180 degrees, because hills would be big, and telling it to be quite large, like 125. So you would have a large hill on your screen. You could do your set heading uh, back to negative two, or to 270. So the turtle was aimed to go back, and because you typed a size of 125, you know that if you double that, uh, which would be 250, it would actually go back and connect the shape for your hill or your sunset or whatever you wanted to make with your cool arc2 command. There is also an arc command. 
Uh, and this one's kind of interesting. You'll notice the turtles right here. When I do my 180 with this one, it doesn't draw from this. It draws around this. So I'm going to put a 50 here and see how it went around where the turtle was. That's why I prefer the arc2 command, because it drew from the corner. I'll show you real quickly again if I do arc2. Uh, and I'm going to do and I'm going to do a small 180 by uh, 10. It's going to go up and over right from where the turtle started. So we've got arc2 and we've got arc. I expect you to have more useful stuff with arc2. Sorry. I expect you to have more useful stuff with arc2. So find a cool use for arc2, put it in a word, and uh, then you may go on to the next training movie. All right, arc was pretty cool, but I got another word for you. I'm going to clear the screen, and it is called ellipse, E-L-L-I-P-S-E. -L -L -I -I -E. When you do it, you have to type two numbers. I'm going to type 50, and I'm going to type 12, so you can see how the 50 made it wide, and the 12 showed how thick the ellipse was. It's like an egg. You can see if you're being creative, this could maybe be the top of a pool. Uh, if you do ellipse with the numbers the other way, so let's do 10 and 100, you can see that it's skinny and tall. Super quickly, just like it was fun playing with squares once upon a time, making them repeat and turn right, check out how sweet an ellipse looks when it repeats and turns right at a certain amount. There are so many things you can do that make the ellipse fun, and you can make it into incredible things like your flower and your sun using all the skills that I've given you. I hope you've had fun with Lesson 5. Make sure that when it's the end of the hour, you click File Save because you don't ever want to lose your work. And then remember, we always do File Save As, and we save it with a new name. Congratulations on moving on in your programming, and keep up the good work.